Hey, this is Jody with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This week's video, we're doing a little down and dirty review on tungsten electrodes. And there's a lot of discussion about, about what's the best tungsten electrode for this and that. And some people will tell you that this one, well, this one's good for transformers on uh, AC, and but not on DC. Or this one's good on inverters on DC and A. You know, it gets kind of confusing. And so what I'm, what I'm attempting to do today is is kind of give a recommendation for the best all around one size fits all electrode. So what I did is I tested six different types of electrodes. 2% thoriated, 2% seriated, 1.5% lanthanated, a trimix blend, and 2% lanthanated and also E3 electrode. Set the torch up in a stand. I pumped them up to 200 amps on DC and on AC and some of them some of them did really well and held their shape really well. Others, not so much. So stay tuned, watch the video, and at the end, you'll get the conclusion. Okay? So the first thing is I wanted to get them all sharpened roughly the same and sharpened in a way that they don't have any contaminants on them. So I use this diamond wheel. I don't have a tungsten grinder. I've got, I bought this cheap Harbor Freight diamond wheel. It's item number 69658. It's a little uh, three set thing, but this is the best one for sharpening electrodes. It'll also cut electrodes. And I just put it in my end grinder and put the chucked up the uh, electrode in a cordless drill and actually works pretty good. For 10 bucks for the set of diamond wheels, not bad. Then I set the torch up in a little torch stand here that I have. It's part of a welding lathe I have, but I figured it'd be a good way of having it, having every one of them with the same angle on it. And I got, I gapped them the same using an eighth inch piece of copper here. Every one, same arc length, same gap. First one up, 2% thoriated on DC, 200 amps. No surprises. Lights up good at 200 amps. It doesn't deg uh, degrade at all. Then 2% seriated, same thing. Good start. Holds 200 amps on DC, no problem. 1.5% lanthanated is up next. Good crisp, crisp start. I've got the start amperage set to 10 amps. 2% lanthanated up next, same thing. And then next up is a trimix called uh, lanthium, yttrium, zirconium, or also called laser. Looks like I'm using the same thing every time here, doesn't it? I, not, not a big surprise. Really, for what I'm doing here, no perceivable difference. If I was lighting up at one amp, time and time again, hundreds of times, we might see a difference. All right, now let's switch over to alternating current. 65 on the AC balance at 200 amps. First up again, 2% thoriated. Starting off with the same type tapered tip. Good start up with the tapered tip on AC. Good stable arc. And pumped up to 200 amps and held for just a few seconds. And then we'll taper down and take a look at the tip. See what we see. See, it's kind of pulsing a little bit. I didn't really notice that with the naked eye, but not a bad. It didn't misshape. Now, 2% thoriated sometimes will misshape on AC. It just depends on the frequency and the AC balance and all that, but this test proved it worked pretty good. Here comes the 2% seriated. A little bit of wandering here and there. The ball is moving around a little bit on the tip but fairly stable and didn't ball up too much. So it carried the 200 amps pretty well. So 2% seriated held up pretty good. 1.5 lanthanated. If you're going to the welding supply store and asking for lanthanated, a lot of them only carry 1.5. I don't know why. When you ask for 2%, they, they, they look at you like you have a third eye or something sometimes. But this is 1.5 on AC. You can see not worth a crap. Got those little nodules on it and that is not what you want to see on alternating current on your electrode. Here comes 2% lanthanated. All right, here we go. Good crisp start with that tapered point and we're going to pump it up all the way to 200 amps. And again, we're set, we got the machine set identical for all these different types of electrodes. 
but we're not getting identical results. 2% lanthanated, very stable arc, rounded off at the tip, but very stable. Let's light up again and pump it up again just to see if things change. It's pulsing just a little bit. It's right on the ragged edge of, of the amperage that you would want to use on this electrode, but still held its shape very well. Now let's try the trimix here, the lanthium, yttrium, zirconium mix. The initial uh, arc start is just fine. But the rest of it is not really just fine, as you'll see here in just a second. A couple little nodules off to one side. One of those is going to wind up in your weld a lot of times, or it's going to make your arc unstable. I'm going, to, I'm going to pump it up again to 200 amps and just see if it rounds and stabilizes and makes a, 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 a rounded tip rather than that nodule on there. But it, it didn't. Some of this is kind of like voodoo. Who knows why it does what it does? Sometimes they do different, you know, when you, even under the same circumstances, but uh, that one didn't seem to perform too well. Up next is the E3. All right, this is the last one we're doing on AC. All of them started just fine, especially using, I'm using an inverter power source. It's got about a 5 or a 10 amp start on AC. It's a good arc power source, but so E3 here started good and wound it up pretty good. We'll light up again here in that second start. See, with that rounded tip on there was not all that. It wasn't, a, it wasn't exactly a crisp start at, at, a, at a 10 amp start. But once I got it up, amperage up a little bit and got the electrode heated up just a little bit, seemed to do okay. Fairly stable arc, not balling up too much, but look at that, it pancaked now. All right, so here's a lineup of all of them with the color-coded end uh, facing the, the end result. Starting on the left, you got 2% thoriated, then 2% seriated, 1.5% lanthanated, 2% lanthanated, the uh, lanthium, yttrium, zirconium, and then the E3. So guess what? 2% lanthanated kind of outperformed the rest. There was really no perceivable difference from what I did on DC. Now, if I'd have done 100 arc starts on each one at low amperage, or used fresh material each time, kept the temperature the same, we might have come up with different results. But as far as I can tell on DC, they all performed way above satisfactorily. On AC is where, you, where you'll see the difference. And you'll even see differences at different frequencies. And so I didn't have time to do, you know, some at 60, some at 80, some at 100 hertz, some at 200 hertz, 250 hertz, 400 hertz. That's, that's, uh, that's too much work. Well, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. And go check out the products at weldmongerstore.com.